Cross it. Hey everybody, Dr. O here. I want to run through just some antibiotic terminology here. So these are all terms that will be covered in other videos, I'm sure, but I just want you to have all the terms figured out before we dive too deep. So let's start with, right up here on the screen, we have antibiotics versus antimicrobials. So an antibiotic is a compound that's produced by a microbe, a bacteria or a fungus, to inhibit the growth or kill other microbes. So that's the key there. So to technically to be an antibiotic, you have to be produced by a living organism to inhibit or kill another organism. Antimicrobials is a much broader uh, category. So not only can antimicrobials, uh, so they can be like your synthetic antibiotics, right? You're like your sulfa drugs that aren't that aren't produced by organisms but still kill bacteria, but they also can kill. Anything that would kill like a, a fungus or a parasite or a virus, even though viruses aren't technically alive, um, would be called an antimicrobial. So an antibiotic is a type of antimicrobial. Now, I don't care if you really kind of use the term slightly incorrectly, but that's what they are. So antibiotics made by a living organism to inhibit the growth or kill other microorganisms. Antimicrobials, much broader, broader, really any compound that inhibits the growth of any living thing would be. So even like a, a hand sanitizer would be considered an antibiotic. Antimicrobial, that type of stuff. So that's antibiotics versus antimicrobials. Uh, next, we have the term selective toxicity. This is brought up a ton in microbiology classes. The reason we care so much about the structure and function of bacteria is we're looking for things that they do different than us. We're looking for things they have different than us because selective toxicity is can you kill a microbe for in, for like can you kill a bacteria without hurting its environment which would have which would be us so a perfect drug would be selectively toxic it would only damage bacteria fungi whatever you're looking for um, without hurting us so that's why you look at like uh, most of our antibiotics they attack the fact that bacteria have cell walls because we don't have cell walls or they attack the bacterial ribosome because our ribosomes are different in most situations so that's what selective toxicity means all right, next we have broad spectrum versus narrow spectrum versus extended spectrum. So uh, in the future, I hope these terms mean something completely different because I because I hope that in the future we find a lot more truly narrow spectrum treatment treatments, which means that um, they will only kill a certain type of bacteria or a very small group of bacteria, but we're not there yet. Uh, right now, broad spectrum antibiotics can basically kill most organisms, gram positive, let's just say gram positive plus gram negative. Narrow spectrum antibiotics can kill one or the other, uh, gram positive or gram negative. And they can't kill all of them, but that's that's a good way to look at it. So if you can kill both gram positive and gram negative, you are broad spectrum. If you kill only one or the other, you'd be narrow spectrum. Just understanding that there are plenty of organisms in those groups that these, these antibiotics wouldn't work against. Extended spectrum are going to be like your semi-synthetic penicillins, where you've taken a natural penicillin that is broad spectrum and, and can only kill gram positives, and you've extended it out so it can now kill many more micro like the gram negatives. So that's broad versus narrow versus extended spectrum. We'll do a separate video about the about, about the ramifications of using them because obviously if you kill, if broad spectrum antibiotics kill a lot more of the bad guys, they also kill a lot more of the good guys. So we'll come back to that. Actually ties into one of these two terms here. So we have super bugs versus super infections. So some people confuse these. A super bug is a multi-drug resistant organism. So like for example, MRSA, it's, an, it's methicillin resistant Staphylococcus aureus, but it doesn't just resist methicillin, it resists a whole, a whole bunch of different antibiotics. That's why it's called a superbug. So superbug, think a multi-drug resistant organism. You become a superbug when, when you can resist two or more of our antibiotic treatments. Super infections are completely different. So a super infection is when you're using antibiotics, uh, usually very broad spectrum antibiotics that kill uh, the bad guys, but also kill a lot of the good guys. A super infection is an infection that will pop up in that situation. So um, the two most common examples would be candida or yeast infections. So if you just obliterate your microbiome and kill a whole bunch of bacteria, the yeast uh, are going to uh, take over. And the other one that's real common is C. diff. So those of you who work in healthcare settings know that um, C. diff or Clostridium difficile is a is a very serious problem. It, it kills uh, 23,000 uh, Americans a year, somewhere in that ballpark. And the reason it's so powerful, it is a bacteria, but it's a spore-forming bacteria. So you obliterate all of its competition. It's been hiding in someone's gut, and now and now it's able to bloom and take over because you change the environment with antibiotics. So a super infection is a secondary infection that shows up. Not because of the first infection, but because of the treatment with antibiotics.
Um, what else about them? So you think so think about uh, C. diff. It's just like uh, if somebody has a C. diff infection, right? They've actually they may have gotten it. They may have actually been infected or colonized by those microbes 10, 20, 60 years earlier. It just now pops up because of antibiotics. Uh, now uh, that's why almost everyone that has a C. diff infection has recently taken antibiotics. The only other examples I've seen is people that are severely immunocompromised or uh, maybe they're undergoing chemotherapy. All right, so that is a superbug versus super infection. Uh, last two terms here, we have bactericidal versus bacteriostatic. So side, think like homicide, right? Uh, bactericidal means it's a compound that can kill bacteria. Bacteriostatic uh, um, compounds don't kill bacteria. They slow or inhibit their growth. So like think about the refrigerator. The refrigerator is bacteriostatic or some of your antibiotics um, like your sulfa drugs are bacteriostatic. So all right, that's that's a list of antimicrobial or antibiotic terminology that I feel like you should know before you dive too deep into this concept. All right, have a wonderful day. Be blessed.